The people you see behind me were all infected with coronavirus. I can't show you all their faces, but what I can do is tell you their incredible story. This is a group of friends and colleagues who work at a church in Singapore. Back in January, one of them got infected with COVID-19 over a family dinner. And without him knowing, he came to church and had a normal day. But little did he know that his virus was spreading like wildfire. Two people got infected. Three, five, ten, fifteen, seventeen people got infected just like that in a very short time. No one knows exactly how it happened. It could have been a meeting, a sneeze, a handshake, or a cough. That's how contagious coronavirus is. And that's how an entire church was shut down. From headaches, to fevers, to intensive care units. When I was infected, and when I was, and I was a confirmed case, the, that thought came through my mind that I would, I would die because of the virus. Each one of them had a different response to the virus. Some didn't feel it, others spent 31 days in the ICU. And the story doesn't end here. In addition to dealing with coronavirus, they had to deal with the stigma. The COVID-19 stigma is huge. At school, their kids were called COVID kids. Hotels didn't let their family stay and family weddings were forced to be canceled. This is why we had to cover most of their faces. This tragedy was going to ruin their lives. But here is what we don't hear enough of. Facts. COVID-19 has a much higher recovery rate than we think, with over 98% of patients recovering. And for this group of friends, 100% of them recovered. 17 out of 17 of them healed from coronavirus. That is incredible. In no time, they went back to living their lives normally, full of energy and gratitude. As the days went by, I realized that I wouldn't die because uh, I felt strong at a point in time, physically, emotionally. Uh, I didn't feel that I was dying. Uh, instead, I, I was feeling that I was recovering and growing stronger by the day. Now, they are donating their blood for medical research. Because of their donations, we can develop vaccines to save everybody else. If you're worried about coronavirus right now, tell your friends about these people. They are not just survivors, they are a source of hope for a future without coronavirus. See you next week. What's your message to the world? My message to the world, be socially responsible and have hope in your heart. Hope of your faith, hope for your family, hope for your country, and hope for the whole world to overcome this virus together.